Can I state the fact that this president is a mercantile president? I think that would be uh, overly kind to a man who really has no appreciation of economics, despite presumably attending and graduating from um, the Wharton School. I mean, he makes the comment that you just um, uh, quoted that the U.S. is treated unfairly by its trading partner, so he wants to negotiate better deals, and yet what he doesn't get, nor do any of his uh, so, uh, well-trained advisors supposedly get, is that we need trade to grow unfairly. We don't have the savings to grow, so we, we, we import surplus savings from abroad, run massive current account and trade deficits to attract the capital. Trade is part of our solution because we don't have enough savings to grow. Right, but, you know, Professor, will we, will, you know, does President Trump listen to someone at the no, end of the day? You know, at the moment, it's rhetoric. He only, he only reads rhetoric. his own clippings. You don't think it's just rhetoric? You don't think it's a negotiating tactic? Look, we're, we're, we're looking for, you know, the, the, the art of the deal to actually have some art. Uh, and, and so far, it's, it's been more bluster, threats. Uh, tweets that go from lowercase uh, to capital letters, and um, uh, you know he, he said. I think he said yesterday. I lose track of everything he says, um, but I, I think he said you know tariffs are great, uh, and that to me shows little or no appreciation for the logical response uh, by those nations who are faced with tariffs. They uh, uh, go with, with reciprocal retaliatory tariffs of their own, and that's why we call it a trade war. It's not a one-way negotiation, as the president wants um, his base to believe uh, is, is now taking place. All right. Do, do you think the rhetoric will change after the midterms? Well, I, I, I am dubious that the president will ever change his rhetoric, but I think the midterms uh, uh, could conceivably change his ability to deliver uh, on the rhetoric. That's uh, 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 a, a distinct possibility given the way the polls are today. But you know, as we learned uh, in um, the fall of 2016, uh, the polls are not always the most accurate gauge as to what to expect from the American uh, electorate. Steve, I want to go back to the collective memory of your work at Morgan Stanley in August of 1998. We all saw it coming, but we didn't see it coming. I mean, you, you don't know the amplitudes, you don't know the what if. Are we setting ourselves up with trade talk and esoteric international economics into some form of major market reaction? We see Whirlpool roll over, we see soybeans, eight standard deviations, hockey stick off trend, and on and on and on. Are we setting ourselves up for abrupt market moves with this rhetoric and this discourse? There's always tension, Tom, and you put your finger on a lot of sources of tension. Trade is <clears throat> one tension at the same time uh, that's playing out. We also have <clears throat> the unwinding of QE, the right. fact that interest rates are moving up, uh, that um, uh, equity markets have, have um, uh, basically been fluctuating in a narrow range after having risen sharply and still remain overvalued by many long-term measures, such as the um, Schiller uh, CAPE ratio. So. Um, uh, trade in and of itself uh, is, is probably not enough uh, to set us up for um, right. a disaster, but it certainly could be a contributing factor. This new word, plurilateral, I know it's not in any of your books, it's not in my books either. Plurilateral, is that just the new talk for regional block? Are we going back to 1930 blockism, BLOC, regional blockism? Is that really what we're doing? I don't know. I mean, it, it's hard to say. I mean, what. <clears throat> The president has said very clearly is he prefers bilateral deals. And that is problematic uh, in the context of the saving investment balance that, uh, imbalance that I just spoke about, which gives rise to multilateral imbalances. So the plurilateral con construct is something in between the two, and it makes no sense to me.